my friends, it's time for an unboxing video, not just one thing, but it's only one box to un unbox, but the rest are vinyl that I'm going to open up in front of you. I got these from uh, Miami Metal Merchant, as you see, as I always end my videos with uh, you know, a little commercial for them. That's, uh, you know, I don't do drugs, contrary to what a lot of you idiots out there think I'm on drugs when I do my videos. Uh, I'm just naturally this way. I'm just naturally wired and you're boring if you think I'm on drugs. You're just a boring individual that probably talks like this. And uh, so this is the box I got from him. Uh, this is uh, Alive in, in, at Athens, Iced Earth. I love this CD and this one brings a bonus track. Colors is on here, which is not on the original. I do have the I don't know, were there different versions of the CDs? Because I know I have a CD with all this shit on here except for colors. And I'm going to unbox it. I love me some Iced Earth. And this was uh, something Wicked This Way Comes Tour, which is fucking awesome. So let's see. I didn't even look at the little hype sticker what's in here. So let's get surprised, okay? And I use a guitar pick to open my stuff. All right, here it comes. All right, there we go. This is the first thing. This is, uh, I believe, the vinyl. Yes. All right. It's not a gatefold. It brings two vinyls inside. Let's see what the vinyls look like. Okay. They are the standard black vinyl. I love black vinyl. I love, I love my vinyl like I love my Sabbath black. Though color vinyl's cool and all, but I don't know. I'm old school. But all right. There's two vinyls in this one. And here's the cover art and the back of it. Then uh, here's the next one with the back. And this one brings as well as two vinyls. No need to take it out. They're all black, I, I, I presume. And then the last thing in here is this right here, which brings... Another vinyl and something else is in here. Uh, oh, it's like a, it's like a book. Oh, cool. You know, with liner notes and uh, flyers and pictures. Matt Barlow. Matt Barlow rules. Alright. And then uh, some credits and a picture of John Schaefer. And the back. Alright. Kind of like a little book there. And this looks like it's a poster. That's awesome. I can tell by the back. It's the album cover. Pretty badass, man. And the vinyl. So it's a total of five vinyls. Okay, I'll read the hype sticker for you. Because I haven't even read it myself. Uh, 20th anniversary edition. Uh, one of the most monumental live recordings in heavy metal history, including 12 page LP booklet, 60 by 60 uh, poster, and the missing track colors. Fully dynamic vinyl remastering. Uh, limited 5 LP box set. Awesome, man. Uh, I have heard from some people that this even sounds better than the CD. So I'm very much looking forward to listening to this. And let me put this back later. Okay, and here is the other vinyl I got off them. Debtor's Inferno. Now, I fell in love with that song, A Fountain of Grace. And I bought that EP, the three three song EP, or two song? I think it's three songs. And uh, now I got this. And they do a cover of Taxman, Mr. Thief from Cheap Trick, which is wow. I wouldn't expect that. Uh, Michael Denner from Merciful Fate. That is Denner Denner's Inferno, named after him. Now let's open this fucker up and let's see what's in there. Uh, it says here, Wave Flack MP3 download code, and, the, and it says Legendary Merciful Fate Guitars on the hype sticker. 
So let's open this baby up. And the inside is a picture of the lineup. And you know, some credits. Okay, next is a historic, historic album that I used to have when I was a kid. Gave it away when I bought it on CD. Now I got it and it's a big ass 180 gram version of my favorite Celtic Frost, Celtic Frost album, Morbid Tales. Now, the hype sticker says the original classic album remastered on two uh, times 180 gram vinyl, including bonus material, 36 page uh, 10 inch booklet with extended sleeve notes including two posters uh, Concept art direction by Tom Gabriel warrior. Ooh um, And uh, according to my online buddy Ron Dimer, he says this sounds amazing so Let's open this up and see uh, all the goodies it brings inside and I can see man. This is like bulging This is like thick because there's a lot of stuff in here. So let's open this up. Might have to fast forward this. All right. Cool album cover. Iconic. Picture of the band in the back. Open it up. And here is the gatefold. Lyrics and such. And now we open this up and... Uh, First thing is uh, the two posters. Oh, this is cool. That looks badass. Hell yeah. Love it. And this is the other poster. There's two posters. Two more pictures of the band. Pretty badass. And here's the inner sleeve for the vinyl, which brings uh, notes and stuff. Logo. And the vinyl is black. Awesome. All right, that's the first uh, thing. And now, th in this one, let me take it out. Oh, this is a thick book. Let's see, let me get it close to you guys so you can see. You're seeing this before me, man. Pictures. Cool classic shot of the band. Uh, liner notes. Awesome. Love it. Wow. This is kind of like a box set without being in a box. All this good stuff in here. Um, oh wow, it talks about each song. Yeah, notes about the songs. Personal View by Russell. That's a classic shot of Tom G. Warrior. Ooh. Okay, what else we got here? That's a blurry shot. Wow. I don't know if I would have added that. So it looks like one of the pictures I take on my phone at a show that I end up deleting. Dark red concert shots. Another classic picture. More notes of Procreation of the Wicked. That's one of my favorite songs by them. Uh, Return of the Eve. Awesome. Another classic shot Mar of Martin. Oh, look at this one. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I've never seen that picture before. I'm talking about the rehearsals for Morbid Tales. <laughs> look at them. With the Shield. And that's it. There you go. And this album does bring uh, the full album, but it brings a bonus disc, which has uh, Morbid Tales uh, rehearsal, Messiah rehearsal, Procreation of the Wicked rehearsal, and Nocturnal Fear rehearsal is on the second disc, which brings notes and such. Wow. A lot of good stuff in that one. one of, man, it's like historic metal. 
All right, then the next thing I bought, which I've had on CD, but believe it or not, I've never owned this on vinyl. Angel Death, Hobbs Angel Death. This is an amazing, amazing album. We just recently um, lost Peter Hobbs. Absolutely love him. Uh, got to play with him. He couldn't have been a nicer guy. I know I already discussed him in a, in a video before. And here is the inner sleeve. The picture of the band and the lyrics. And, uh, you know, they're from Australia. And check it out, kangaroos. That's so Australian. All right, what else we got in here? All right, this is something from the record company, other things they have. This looks like a poster. I didn't look at the hype sticker. I don't think it has a hype sticker. Oh, very cool. Album cover. Nice. Beautiful. And black vinyl. Man, I'm loving the black vinyl. All right, that's the, that's the next thing I bought now. How many more things did I buy? There's two more things I want to show you. No, one more, right? Yeah, there's one last thing. Well, actually, technically two. But this is the last thing I bought from My Mano Merchant. I've never owned this on vinyl. I've always owned this on CD. Um, the CD brings a bonus track, Overdose, the ACDC cover. I do like this album a lot. I mean, my, my to me, they never top Binded by Blood. But this is one of my favorites, too, after that. You know, Lacked Acts of Defiance, the title track, Toxic Walls, uh, Cage in Hell, Low Rider, Like Father Like Son, Corruption, Verbal Razors, and Open Season. Awesome shit. Uh, and it comes in different color vinyl. He had, I believe, red and, uh, was it turquoise? But it's just to show you, man, I picked the black one. See that? I picked the black vinyl. I just have this love for black vinyl. I am not so sucked in because it's colored. Not that I'm racist. All right, let's open this and see what it's got. Oh, this is a gatefold, too. So let me take this plastic off. Okay. All right. That's a cool gatefold with lyrics and all. Cool. Front cover, back cover. And the vinyl. It is black with a green uh, paper in the middle, black vinyl. And I think I saw something else in there. I think there was something else in here, right? Yes. You know, paper with the album cover and another picture of the band. Well, there you go. Well, there is uh, two more things, but I already opened one of them, so what's the point? Uh, the latest Liam Gallagher album and front well let me just first say somebody really cool and I'm sure I'm going to be talking I already talked about it you probably see me talk about it on the currently cranking because I haven't cranked this yet and this will be on the currently crankings but uh, somebody really cool beautiful and uh, just an awesome awesome female uh, for Christmas gave me um, an eBay card you know, uh, and I, it was uh, enough to buy, I bought the Rambo Blu-ray, which hasn't got here yet. I bought uh, the Liam Gallagher vinyl, and I bought this, uh, Ghost, their latest single, um, which has um, Kiss the Goat, and what's the name of that other song? The other song, I, I was thinking whatever. Um... Mariana Chain. Okay, so that's the cover and that's the back of it. And I do love the song Kiss the Goat. I love Ghost. I know a lot of people don't, but I can care less what you think. So there you are, my unboxings. So uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if you like my channel, man, please subscribe and click the little uh, bell on the side. Thanks for watching, everybody. Schmack em a gob. This video has been brought to you by Miami Metal Merchant. For your metal needs at competitive prices, visit MiamiMetalMerchant.com. Tell them Dr. Fuck sent you.